so today i'm going to derive uh, hard nail governor well this is one of the most important governor and this governor is also known as uh, uh, centrifugal governor as well as spring loaded governor okay so if you will uh, uh, read types of governor probably have watched my videos related to governor i have already shared couple of derivation basic concepts about governor okay so today i'm going to share with you how to derive hard nail governor quite easily let's go for it so first of all draw a center line okay so i'm not going to draw the exact diagram of hard nail governor because that will take little bit more time so i'll just draw what i required to derive the equation all right so let's go for it suppose that here it's a okay another part is here so this part to be like this this part this part to be like this and here we got uh, that that one okay now this is theta one this is theta two okay so here we are have getting centrifugal force m r1 omega square r1 is uh, from here to here we got r1 and then if we'll say r2 from here to here we got r2 from here to here that is b2 and from here to here that is b1 and the cap is here that is a1 and the cap is here that is a2 and the height here from here to here is a1 b1 c1 and from the height from here to here that is c2 so this is all about the block diagram if we'll say this is mg plus fs2 by 2 and here we'll get mg plus fs1 by 2 so these this, this diagram play most important role here also we have to write mr2 omega square so this is these two diagrams one is the one side another one is the other side so basically in case of heart and governor we'll get two side so basically this centrifugal force this centrifugal force is acting only because of ball mass and here this force that's because of sleep mass and this is s is known as spring force and this one is also known as spring force this m is mass of the sleep g is acceleration due to gravity so these all things are most important we need to understand its basic concept and uh, draw i mean we have to go through its equation that's why we can prove uh, what we wanted to prove so okay <clears throat> so this is known as let's say this uh, mr omega uh, mr1 omega square is f1 and mr2 omega square is f2 so f1 multiple c1 is equal to half mg plus fs1 into b1 plus uh, now what we got we got here mg and another we got here mg into mg into c1 already we have done that b1 sorry a1 now f2 into c2 is equal to half mg plus fs2 into b2 right plus small mg into a2 these two equations are really needed equation 1 and equation 2 now we are getting a little bit different thing we need to consider one more thing that is this is inclined right by theta 1 angle here this one is also inclined by theta 2 angle because of this inclination we are getting two points a1 and a2 suppose that we these two are not inclined these two points are vertical then what will happen a1 is equal to a2 equal to 0 because it's vertical and we are again considering c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c and b1 is equal to b2 is equal to b this consideration we are cons this condition we are taking into account because to solve the equation uh, with more comfortably and it will be quite easier for you to understand the equation all right so <clears throat> this is how you can so, um, you can consider all these points quite easily
all right so basically so after implementing all these points in these two equation we'll get you know lot of things lot of variation you are going to see so what we can do right now uh, so f1 c is equal to because c1 equal to c2 is equal to c okay that's why we have taken c half mg plus fs1 into b because a1 equal to 0 so this one equation you read 3 so f2c is equal to half mg plus fs2 into b equation 4 okay now what we have to do we have to subtract from 3 to i mean we can do also from 4 to 2 okay so let's see f2c minus f1c half mg plus fs2 into b minus half mg plus fs1 into b so what we got here if we'll uh, if we'll you know do calculation then we can easily say half fs2 minus fs1 into b fs2 minus fs1 into b now what we we are doing here we are sending this c to this side so f2 is equal to b by 2c got it b by 2c we can see if uh, f2 is uh, so f2 i um, mean just a second if you consider c f2 minus f1 is equal to half fs2 minus fs1 into b okay so this is how we can simplify the equation quite easily now what we are considering here fs2 minus fs1 is equal to we're considering here let me write here only fs2 minus fs1 is equal to ks k is uh, you know movement of the slip you can say movement of the slip movement of the slip because of mass because in slip we are having mass that is capital m so ks now again what we are considering k is equal to theta b k is equal to what theta b so we have to put all these values here so what we can do here exactly fs2 is equal to okay just send these two to this side and b to this side so what will happen 2c by b f2 minus f1 2c by b f2 minus f1 is equal to fs2 k s k is equal to theta b into s right so again again we are having the value of theta what is the value of theta so theta is equal to we have theta is equal to we have r2 minus r1 r2 minus r1 by a theta is equal to what we have r2 minus r1 by a now what we can do we have to say this we have to just send this theta to this side okay um, let me use another uh, sheet that's why i can you know, illustrate quite easily and it will be quite easier for you to understand also okay okay so let's go for it so what i am doing right now i'm just uh, simplifying the equation 2c by b f2 minus f1 all right so now what we got b is equal to uh, theta is equal to sorry b into theta is equal to r2 minus r1 by a into s is equal to 2c by b f2 minus f1 okay now what we are doing we are sending all these values except s to this side so what we get s is equal to uh, 2c by a not a that's we c okay that's we see because we are we are getting this one c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c because they equal to already zero so we cannot consider that okay so c now if we'll send all these value to this side what will happen s is equal to 2c square by b square f2 minus f1 r2 minus r1 okay so by using this equation what i can find out exactly i can find out the value of stiffness of the spring we have used in case of heart nail governor
So the formula for finding out its deepness of the spring uh, that is S is equal to 2C square by B square F2 minus F1 by R2 minus R1. And this formula is totally depend on the diagram the way we have drawn the diagram. So remember that. So don't don't be confused with that. First of all, remember diagram and all elements we have considered in the diagram. Then derive the Hartnell governor. Well, I hope you understand the concept and you can do it by your own quite easily. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye.